so ed we have the angriest man in the 40k galaxy to look at today is he still a man um, i guess that's yeah, well was he ever still a normal man no, no probably not but um but genetically he, ended superman genetically, yeah, that is true very much so he's a superhero confirmed yeah <laughs> uh, either way he's very 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 angry um he is and, hench yes he's absolutely massive i believe um, the phrase the kids use is swall I, I don't know that terminology that probably shows my age uh or okay. that i'm just not very very awakened to different sayings but anyway yeah. um so first first things first um a huge huge thank you to games workshop for sending us angron in advance uh of the uh the, the sort of pre-order date it's an amazing model uh, right from the get-go like from the moment from the moment uh saw it on the pre in it when it was sort of first put up ages and ages back um it's just incredible i think there's so many awesome things that we're going to cover about it uh let alone the the, the sort of paint job that adam uh, in, from the team's done but just what, what what were your thoughts when you first saw it Ed? like what what, what were your Whoa. thoughts <laughs> did you make that exact noise or uh well i think i, I think i might have yelled a bit uh, to the extent that my fiance did come in to see if everything was in, it was okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, it, like... it, it's. I I literally think that there's uh, so many awesome little things about the model, uh, right from from sort of like the get go. Um, what's your favourite detail on it? What do you think is your favourite thing? That drew. I actually eye, really like... liked just the reference to the world eaters on the shoulder pad. Yeah. Um I thought it was just a fantastic addition. Obviously, and who's got on top of his um, uh, sort of Terminator Brahma style top as well um but yeah just i just i like that call back to his legion um i i feel like just thinking about the others so magnus and mortarian like obviously they are very clear in what they are mm -hmm. um and i could just be misinterpreting it from just not knowing them as well but i feel like the references to their legion were painted on rather than sculpted on I yeah think. true true i think we, that you definitely know that he, he's a follower of corn uh yeah. from, from the get-go uh if the giant chain axe didn't give it away uh the the giant corn van braces possibly will do um i mean for, like first thing like darren uh mr mr latham done an amazing job in creating him i think you've got to start from the, the, the beginning of the minute show like there's obviously a lot of artwork and things and i think that um something that i saw when it was first shown was that people there was a, perhaps a, an assumption that it it um it didn't nod as much as it is possible to the to the art but in fact i think that there's some really really phenomenal art out there that is literally bang on to this um i think dad's done an amazing job with with just the overall creation of the model and, and also i think it's a real hard thing to to kind of to sort of take on as a project it must be just because you've got to you've got to nail so many things for so many people that expect so much of a such a, a well-known yeah. uh well-known character um, particularly there are so many different artworks for yeah. it as well yeah yeah i mean I, that's one of the, the good things i think that you that with this model specifically like you, you have things that are like a home run model and what i mean by that is that they nod to art nod to the law and narrative and also the actual composition of the miniature and the vibe that it gives off all hit those touch points that people people will warm to um for me i think that the 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 nod to if you look at the 30k primark version it's not the same exact pose but it's a very similar predatory hunched uh sort of aggressive stance that's the same that you, axe forward as well i think isn't it well i think these axe he's, he's, he's isn't the 30k model correct me if i'm wrong isn't the 30k model he's he's taking someone out and it's kind of swung to the side oh, if, it might I, be, actually, I, yeah. I think so i think it looks like he's literally just hit someone with one axe and then that model that marine's like leaning back or yeah. he's injured um but it but still if you look at the way that the the overall pose is it's very haunched um angon was never the tallest or biggest of primarchs in sort of like well size. he is now <laughs> he definitely is now well you say that but then compared to mortarian and, and magnus he is still uh a, a, a little bit smaller as a as a miniature uh, um, okay right but uh yeah the model the model's amazing um it, it goes together really well uh like adam who's worked on this uh has done a phenomenal job uh you know he he was very much like you know the model's amazing uh i can't wait to paint it um i kind of set him a little bit of a task as a joke just say oh can you get it in eight days otherwise you won't serve <laughs> corn well enough and he actually did so he done, yeah he done he done a great job let's be honest done. the eight days is impressive but you should have done eight of them you know <laughs> If he, if he if he really wants to serve the god properly, I mean, yeah, well, it, it, it one to to the standard that he done it in in eight days is phenomenal, and yeah. um, and uh, yeah, like the 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 real good cool thing about it is that it's got so many so many touch points to, uh, I think what you'd expect Angron to have, 
And secondly, looking back at um, looking back at the, the previous previous miniature of him, obviously the 30k version, you you can't not look at the model and see the humongous axe as we've mentioned already. I mean, it really is ludicrously large for for a chain yeah. axe, but then it's Angron, so it's perfectly cool for him to have it. Also, um, I just really like the spike tail as well. Yeah, you know, just it's awesome. Seeing as it rotates, you come around to just all this line of like spikes down the side, and it's got the ridges on it, and then it just ends in like this club with extra large spikes coming out of it. It's that that is lethal. It's got it's got almost like we all know obviously about like Games Workshop's golden angle of the miniature and like the, the the really good angle to to perceive and look at the other piece. Um, but with Angron, I, I find that there's 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 actually quite a few different sort of ways when you rotate the miniature. There's various different ways that you can have it, and and it's almost got several kind of golden angles in the way that you look at it um, because of the pose and the haunch thing, the wings are a certain direction, or if you, like you said, if you're dead on, it's got a really sort of menacing sort of imposing kind of uh, overall yeah. sort of silhouette and shape. Um, but then you can turn it at another angle and it, it, again, it's, it's almost got a completely, it's still aggressive and, and, and as you'd expect, but it's, it, it just takes on a completely different overall sort yeah. of way to, to perceive like, it. You're not, you're not going to appreciate the detail on the sword in his left hand, unless you're looking at it from the side and then no, you start correct. to see Korn's, um, sigil, uh, is the, um, guard on the sword and you start to see like, you know, the skull, um, that's on his van brace. You've got the chains attaching his arm to the weapon. It's just, yeah, you you just don't see it from the front so it's it's really nice to get a miniature where all around you get um fantastic details yeah it is it's, it's really 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 good um um i've got to throw it in there because it's something that i noticed quite quickly it's nice to see that sanguinius's mark is still on him with those t- those damaged uh butcher's nails on his head just flapping yeah. around um so that would be the, the the blood angel bit added on there just for everybody that's a fan of those as well yeah. um but, but the the you're quite right the tail the, the, the club tail is is actually quite cool like to think that he's not only obviously got these two ridiculously oversized super destructive weapons that he's that he's wielding um the fact that he can just hit you with his tail and just <laughs> it does just as much if not more possible damage is, is also quite a scary thing to to um to see yeah. um I was going to say actually, sorry, as you know, just while looking at the model as it's rotating, um, I, it's, there's actually a bit I'm not too keen on. What's um, that? And this this might be a bit that I just don't know enough about Angron or Bloodthirsters. The hair on on his wings, on the almost arm like ex, arm like extension, you've got almost sort of like this hair on there. I don't know how hair. I feel about that. I think it looks good on the back of the legs and how it's coming down his back. Um, I don't know. I guess that's just a design cue that I maybe wouldn't have gone with. Not that I would be able to sculpt something like this. <laughs> Um, no, I mean that's fair. But I, 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 to be fair, like I'm, I've never, um, I've never really. Uh... It sounds really bad, but I've never really paid those bits much attention on, on sort of demon models. Um, not in the sense of the, the painting of it, more in the sense of that I've just always uh, kind of, I guess, assumed that through the sort of metamorphosis or change, like be more beastly kind of things would be. It's almost like yeah. um, in in I don't know, like Beauty and the Beast, or like you know, if you think of the the guy from X Men that that change that that, uh, that goes changes or he's what, what's the guy the the blue guy in X Men? I've totally forgotten his name. Beast. The Beast. McCoy. That's it, literally mccoy like it's almost like that that animalistic kind of aspect of the miniature um in my mind i don't know i think it's just something a, li- a little bit different um you know but again I- i'd see what you mean on the backs of the legs um yeah the wing wing arms have got a bit I just, yeah well. i like i like when looking at miniature i do like seeing everything i love about it but i do you know sometimes i like it you know what is something that maybe i would have changed slightly yeah yeah um that being said still phenomenal <laughs> it's 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 a, it's a mega model like you know and and suitably the the base him and everywhere that you can possibly have them like absolutely adorned with more skulls i think i, I haven't counted how many skulls are on the model but there there's a, a sizable amount and very suitable for gold. it's a number that is greater than eight yeah, most definitely or it could even be a multiple i don't know but <laughs> but um but he, yeah it's a it's a phenomenally detailed miniature um from a painting perspective um obviously adam has painted it not myself or any other member of the team and obviously yourself or me but um it offers i think a lot of uh interesting things to do uh when it comes to painting um not only have you got skin you've got the armor you've obviously got uh, metallics you've got talons claws and then you've got all the bone with all the skulls so hair. there's yeah, <laughs> hair, hair as well yeah so you, so you have all those objects to approach when it comes to, to to the physical painting of the miniature um it's a nice amalgamation of all those things um which which like, together really comprises a good piece so so yeah well so as I, say, I really like how adam's pulled up in the wings um on the um bone like bits that hold the membrane yeah, yeah. um how he's how he's transitioned from the red to the pink i think it looks really nice to have those central three 
um, parts to have a bit of a different color on, just so yeah, it's not totally. completely red. Yeah, I mean the heavy metal box art is phenomenal, but the, and I think on their one they've 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 done uh, more of the muscular front part of the where it comes up from the sort of the back to the the leading edge of the the up, upturned right, talons. Yeah. Um, that's more of that kind of ruby or magenta kind of tone on the right, on, yeah. the, on the box art um and i think as, as like you said it, i think it pulls the eye to look at that specific area of the wings quite nicely by just focusing that that tone and, and color yeah. in that area um, the, the two different metallics he's done for the difference between the sword and the axe look really good as well like yeah, you've yeah. got this really blackened metallic that's got that flame effect in the middle versus a lot of the other silvers on the model are both are, they're both worn and dirty but quite clear you know they're relatively bright still yeah um with the chains being particularly bright i think i think then having a dark metallic sword works really well as a sort of a, a counterpoint to that he, he had a complete sort of like we said look obviously this is the box art it needs to be angry it needs to be as as, as angry as possible you know obviously <laughs> the sculpt is um so colors and things like that like you know you, you're obviously looking at like mephist and red you're looking at um you're looking at corn red you're looking at tones and colors like that which which really go well with this kind of miniature like galval back red and, and colors like that really help for getting those tones yeah. on on the skin um, well, actually while you're touching on that um on our patreon um, we do actually have a few different ways of painting very similar to this yeah you know, we've we've got a full cabanda tutorial yeah um which rich did um one of our other artists which goes into you know a very similar style of model yeah uh, we've got a slight variation on an actual just pure just red demon skin model mm -hmm. um which was using a demon prince and um, we've got full argle towel breakdown if you're looking at maybe a little bit of different reds and armor schemes um, and then we, we have got you know a lot of tutorials on true Gold, metallics, golden and armor, yeah. metallics, <laughs> dirty metallics, clean metallics. You know we have a really nice true metallic metal tutorial on the corn berserker axe, um, which you could take a lot of and apply to either the sword or to the to the chain axe. You know, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot on there. I think. I think we're up to like how I think was it nearly, nearly two hundred over two hundred fifty. Yeah, it's over two hundred. Yeah, yeah well, over two hundred fifty. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of tutorials on there if you are interested and in, you're watching this and you want to learn with us on, on Patreon. So go over and check it out. Um, so yeah, so wrapping up, I think that you know uh, I've got to say uh, yeah, well done to Ad. If you're watching this, Ad, you smashed it. Um, and uh, yeah, like the model is 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 really really stunning. You've done a phenomenal job on it. And uh, let us know like in the comments like what what is your favourite thing upon seeing when you first saw the, the model, and since then obviously any subsequent previews and things that have been over on Warcom. Um, what what have you really sort of like fell in love with on the model? What is your favourite thing about him? And uh, and how many of you are going to be going to be sort of picking him up? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified when we put videos out. We've got some great character um, tutorial, as we've got some great uh, great character showcase um, videos out at the moment. Yeah, we've got our past army show showcases. Check them out. Yeah, so big, big thank you for watching. Really appreciate it a lot. And uh, we'll see you very soon on the next one. See you later.